Stacey Wormel joins us from outside of Niblo's home with what the paperwork reveals. Stacey, what'd you find out? Bob and Brittany, I've been looking through these court documents to get a little insight into what Abilene police detectives have been working on and what they think may have happened to Abilene realtor Thomas Niblo, who was killed in his home. That's right here behind me on Woodridge Drive. And Bob and Brittany, they believe that his brother-in-law, Luke Switzer, may have some sort of connection to this homicide. Police say that he has no alibi from that morning that the murder took place in December. Now, this video that you're seeing right here on your screen is actually from last night on Sylvan Drive. Now, that's the home of Luke Switzer and his wife, Eloise Niblo Switzer, who's the sister of Thomas Niblo. Now, police detectives were back over there serving this search warrant that I'm looking at right now, and it tells us a little bit about what they were actually looking for. Things like electronic storage devices, journals, papers, contracts, and specifically footwear with identifiable tread patterns. Now, all of this, they're looking for it in relation to the murder of Thomas Niblo. And some other things that we found out in these court documents is that there was some kind of dispute between uh, Luke Switzer and his wife, Eloise Switzer, with Thomas Niblo over a will that was left behind from another family member. And Bob and Brittany, of course, right now, Abilene police detectives still have no suspects in this ongoing investigation. And neighbors in this area tell us that's the main thing that they are worried about is finding the person responsible for killing Thomas Niblo. Back to y'all in the studio. All right, thank you, Stacy.